His work manifests this decline into cynicism, little more than a petty bourgeois German trying to make his mark. His alcoholic shows are hollow and infantile. A grave offense to our Catholic population. A man with no off switch. Unpredictable. Enfant heavy, elusive, radical. An anarchist. Ah, an anarchist. anarchist. There's very few artists that symbolize being an artist better than Martin Kippenberger does. Its main inspiration was life and living this life because life was art and art was life for him. For Kippenberger, everything was an idea. He took so many aspects of life and created art around it. He had claimed fame in all of the subjects because he was not afraid of any media. He didn't fit into any category. He responded to everything with art. Criticism was omnipresent for artists that developed their own language. Kippenberger was criticized by Faust, one of the main German art critics. What does he do? He creates a sculpture of himself standing in the corner. It's a symbol of punishing himself for this, but obviously being sarcastic about it because he made his most important sculpture out of it. self-portrait based on his face and his hands and on his size. His face and his arms are carved in wood. He dresses the sculpture in a very boring, very puritanical way, like a German municipal worker at the time. The great pants and suspenders. There's a lot of criticism in the self-portraits and it takes a lot of guts and a lot of intention to depict yourself. And Kippenberger was not afraid to do that. This sculpture depicts better than any other work of art that he's done, who he was. He was humoristic, he was ironic, he was a cynic, a rule breaker, but he was not afraid to make fun of himself. There's no one in the last 50 years that did what he has done. 40 years later, we're still grasping of what Kippenberger really had to say. Only the greatest names in art history are still the ones that we don't understand.